Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Hey, how you doing? Now I got a studio for podcast. What what do you guys like? Do you guys like? Isn't it great? Um, a little heads up, I did a Reddit reaction with my Grice models and I kind of upped the prices a little bit because it is two models and on top of that, it is custom made. So yeah, I kind of upped the prices for that. <laughs> it is now available available for $1,200. Yes, I upped the prices because again, it is two models, guys. <laughs> two models that you're getting with that being said let's hop into the reaction sorry if i sound a bit blech um i do have tonsillitis and my throat is a bit swollen so i'm not gonna be all hey. <laughs> <coughs> mm. sorry okay so yeah I work at a gas station and a bit of context is that every once in a while the company will reduce the price on certain popular items for a limited time. However, more often than not there is always a limit to how much a person can buy so other customers can get reduced price food. Usually we have an abundance on things that go on sale like bread and bacon and most of us don't enforce the limits. However, Around the holidays last year, the gallons of milk went on sale and there was a limit of four per person. Our store is small and we don't have that much milk back stock that we can keep in the cooler and on display. So this time around, everyone made sure to make sure to it if it ever came up to enforce the limit because milk is really popular already usually people who were buying the gallons of milk never buy more than four until this guy came in he was himself and it was almost time for me to clock out i had like an hour left of my shift i don't watch or pay much mind to the customers who come in until they are ready to check out so i didn't realize that he was holding six gallons of milk he came up at first, I was impressed by how he managed to carry all six gallons up to the front before I realized I had to enforce the limit. Me. Hi, I'm sorry, but the limit for the gallons of milk right now is at four. Guy. What? Why? Me. It's because they are on sale right now, and since they're on sale for a limited time, there's a limit so everyone can get some. Every time I've come in, I have had no problems with getting six. I'm leaving with six. At this point, I'm getting stressed and I try showing him the signs around the store saying limits of four and that if he had somebody else come in for the other two gallons, it would be allowed, etc. But he's at this point raising his voice and getting very aggressive. Finally, he shouts at me for a manager and I call the lead who's working that night. <clears throat> And to my disappointment and horror, he let him get away with buying all six. I can't get it. He wanted him gone. But I felt so stupid and the guy let me know how stupid I was. Unsatisfying end, but that lead doesn't work at the gas station anymore. And I've never seen six-gallon milk guy again. Thankfully, he took his business elsewhere. You know what? I'm... I agree with this top comment. Pro tip for management, never make a rule you don't plan to enforce. It sucks for everyone involved. Like, you cannot make a rule and then just because you don't want to deal with any confrontation, then you're just like, yeah, um, I'm not going to, you know what, it's okay. I hate when managers do not support their employees when it comes to the rules. The managers I hated the most were the ones that always made me look stupid to a customer that was in the wrong. Mm-hmm. Yep. At my grocery store, the register automatically enforces the limits. At the milk shelf, there would be a sign saying any purchases over four will ring up at a regular price. Problem solved. The cashier is not the enforcer. 
you know what? I think this is a great solution. I think this is a great solution. Now, the only reason why I'm reading the comments is because I have no idea what I would have done in this situation. Honestly, I wouldn't. Because how can you make a rule and not enforce it? You're not only making your employee look stupid, but you are making yourself look stupid as well. And the company looks stupid. You cannot make a rule and not enforce it. You're just making a mockery of yourself, you know, and the business you work for. Mm. I think I would have reported to that manager as well, and I'm just like, they enforce a rule, they they put a rule in place, and then they don't enforce the rule, and we have customers fighting with their employees when management doesn't even want to take our sides or enforce the rules that has been applied by the company. And then, like, what do we do? Because we can't go against management because then our jobs could be at risk. Um, honestly, I think I would have gone to HR departments about this, especially if I was being harassed and the manager just took the customer's side just to get them out because they didn't want to deal with any confrontation. That's what I would have done, honestly. And this is stupid. I will rate this a five because management, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, it's different if it's a customer, but if it's the management, what are you doing? Okay, so next story. I think I'm just going to do three stories today because like, uh, because of my throat, so I can't really read that much and I do have a bit of a headache because, you know, tonsillitis is so much fun. <laughs> Adrenaline shakes. Customer yells and swears at me. I yell back louder. Manager steps in and I keep my job. Okay. Okay. I'll, uh, okay, let's see, let's see. To put context around the story, I have to tell you a few things. First, I've been working at my current company for almost a decade in different stores and the warehouse. I'm currently at in various positions. I took my current role as the lowest level of management to not be customer facing anymore. Recently, we've started doing customer pickups out of my warehouse and I'm the primary for that three days a week. The rule for pickup is that the furniture has to be in factory packaging, not the wrapping we use for delivery and storage. Okay. Also, I spent some time as an infantry team leader in Iraq about 15 years ago. A war veteran. Okay, okay. Working nothing but retail and warehouses ever since. Two customers come in to get their furniture. They had been told earlier in the day that one piece didn't arrive. They start being loud and belligerent to my associate, so she comes to get me. They're a father, and 60-ish, and a son, 40-ish, with thick Eastern European accents. I try to calm things down and explain to them that they have to wait a day for the missing piece. They're free to take what we have or take everything tomorrow. Okay, fair. They start yelling at me. I'm okay with this. When I tell them they're free to contact their salesman about the issue, they being swearing at me and telling me it's my job to call him. The receipt label is company and your label is company. You effing call them, referring to the logo on my shirt. Their verbal and physical communication have changed to being very aggressive. My immediate and unthinking physical reactions is to shift my body weight and ready myself for a violent altercation. Yeah, I can imagine why. Not the right answer. I know, but a decade old reflexes are still reflexes. I lose my cool and that cold, old combat team leader voice comes out. Gentlemen, you are more than welcome to take what is here or cancel your order. Comes out of my mouth. Oh. There's a stunned silence for about three seconds and then they start right up again. It's always like this wherever we go. This other store, that other store, the post office, everywhere. I don't tell them that maybe they're the problem. I do tell them that I cannot give them what they want because it's for another customer and I could lose my job. If that customer and if your job, that's not my problem, give me. I turned to the associate who originally dealt with them and asked her to get the closest management. I'm shaking from the adrenaline dump, but controlling it. My brain is doing threat assessments. My body is prepping for one of them to swing on me, and my mouth is clamped shut so I don't say anything worse. Okay. 
manager comes over, talks to them as they yell about how bad we are and gives them the piece from our store. Oh, and gives them a piece from our storage bins. That was for another customer. He's cool, not mine. And magically, they're just so happy and helpful getting their furniture loaded. The father even hugs the manager and tries to shake my hand. I'm not... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't shake your hand. I'm sorry. No, you just said F my job. Like, what? You do realize I need a job to survive. I'm not shaking nothing. No, sir. I'm not sh I'm nothing but shaking rage, saying polite yes sir and no sirs until they leave. I told the associate she was free to take her lunch and that I'd deal with the pickups until she was done. Manager commended me for not losing all of my shit on them. Took another five minutes after they left uh, for the shakes to stop. I haven't had an interaction like that since I left the army. It was jarring to just have my switch flip back to on so fast. I'm not proud of how I acted in any way. In fact, I'm disappointed in myself for slipping to their level. As a leader, I should be better than that. That said, those guys can go to hell. Oh, sweetie. Again, what is up with management giving in to these people? If if somebody's being so aggressive towards you, phone security, ask them for them to be removed from the premises. And especially if you know you're dealing with a war veteran, so somebody who's been to war, who's fought war, and a customer gets them so riled up that they are back in the situation where it's like they're back in the battlefield, if, in the war zone. No, like what is up with managers just giving in to clients when clients throw a tantrum? Have them removed by security. Or better yet, have the war veteran remove them forcefully. Like, this is bullshit. I'm sorry, this is making me mad. You can't do that, just give in to everybody. No wonder why society is so soft today. Because society just teaches them, I can throw a tantrum and I'll get what I want. No. Stop it. Yeah, I'm just going to do one more story after this, guys. I'm really, really not feeling well. I don't like this. I don't... I would also say this is a level 5, but honestly, if the management gave in to that customer, I would have been like, you know what? I resign. Because they just threw a tantrum. They were verbally aggressive towards me, and they were about to get physically aggressive towards me. And instead of calling security, or allowing me to call security to have them removed from the premises, you gave in to their tantrum, saying it's okay for them to treat people the way they they have been treating people. That they can treat people like shit and they'll get what they want. If that's how you want to run a business, I'm not interested. I'm packing my bags and going. I'll find another job. I'll be fine. And I don't understand why he's feeling guilty for basically yelling at them the thing he said to them calmly in the first place and they didn't want to listen. Like, he has nothing to feel guilty about. Okay, <clears throat> so the last one is El Stupido. And this one's a very short one, but anyway, let's get into it. This happened a few weeks ago. I was working the register and a woman comes in from the right when three or four people are coming in from the left. The line starts at the left. The woman coming from the right grabs something from the front counter and smacks it in front of me. I ring it up and she gives me a five. I remember what her change was. It was $2.83. I gave her the change and she starts shouting and screaming. I tried to tell her I don't speak Spanish by saying, Mi no hablo español. But she just keeps screaming and calls me el stupido while flaying her arms around. I call a manager. My store technically has multiple managers, and one of them comes up to the second register looking at the BS situation I'm in. I say, uh, trying to get their attention, and the crazy woman mimics me by making a der sound noise. She stormed out after that, knocking over a stack of baskets on the way out. Mm -mm, that's vandalism. Na na, na 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 na. Mm -mm. Out of all the people who work at my store, 20-ish people, most of whom aren't there every day, 
There are two who speak Spanish. One was the main manager. Don't know where he was. The other was a native Spanish speaker. He wasn't there yet. That is just one of the several times I've wanted to go against company policy. Yeah, she would have been banned from the store. Honestly, she would have been banned from the store. As simple as that. I wouldn't say that's a level 5 situation. I would say that's like maybe a 2 or a 3. I would have just been like, okay, you want to act like a child? You're not allowed to shop here anymore. That's it. I, don't, I would have picked up the baskets and whatever, but she would have been banned. Why do I want to comment? I don't want to comment. Honestly, she would have been banned. I think that's the best way to handle that situation is just be like, okay, you banned. End of story. You know? But yeah, that being said, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this week's story? How would you guys have handled the situations and how would you have rated the situations? I don't think this week had a funny story. I think it was just this week's theme for the Reddit reactions is just people who gone crazy, people who just went absolutely nuts. I think that is the thing for this week. But until next week, I'm going to say bye, my cupcake.